to find the integral of f of x dx within the limits by using Simpson's one third rule I have explained here. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world. Like the video, share the video link with your friends, write the comments, subscribe to the channel, gain the knowledge and roll the world. Evaluate integral 0 to 1 x divided by 1 plus x square dx taking 6 equal parts using Simpson's one third rule. Solution, whatever the function has been given, consider that one as f of x. So solution, let f of x is equal to x divided by 1 plus x square. Here they have given the value of n and that is, is equal to 6 because they have told divide the interval into 6 equal parts therefore n is equal to 6 and they have given the integral limits upper bound and the lower bound. Upper bound is 1 and lower bound is 0 therefore a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. A is equal to lower bound that is a lower limit and that will be equal to 0 and B will be equal to 1 which is an upper bound it is also called as an upper limit therefore here N is equal to 6 A is equal to 0 B is equal to 1 now we need to find the value of H which is the width since it has been not given and that can be calculated by using a formula H is equal to B minus A divided by N is equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 6 because b is equal to 1, a is equal to 0 and n is equal to 6 and this will be equal to 1 by 6. Write this one in fractional notation only. Don't write this one in terms of decimals. h is equal to 1 by 6. Now prepare a table of x and f of x values. So x initial value is 0. Now Next increment is 0 plus 1 by 6 that is 1 by 6. Next 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 that is 2 by 6. 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6 is 3 by 6. Then 4 by 6, 5 by 6. The next is 6 by 6. 6 by 6 is nothing but 1 which is the upper limit. So you need to stop at that particular point. Then calculate f of x. So first initially f of 0. f of 0 is equal to 0 divided by 1 plus 0 square. 0 square is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. Then next one uh, 1 by 6 is x value. So f of 1 by 6. How to calculate? Within the bracket 1 divided by 6 and after that close the bracket divided by open the bracket 1 plus open the bracket 1 divided by 6 close the bracket write it square and then close the bracket and this will give the answer and that answer is 0 0.1621 next f of 2 by 6 0 0.3 f of 3 by 6 0 0.4 f of 4 by 6 0 0.4615 then f of 5 by 6 0 0.4918 and then f of 6 by 6 that is f of 1 and that will be equal to 0 0.5 calculate in this way how for example f of 2 by 6 can be calculated as open the bracket 2 divided by 6 close the bracket again divided by open the bracket 1 plus open the bracket 2 divided by 6 close the bracket square and then close the bracket so this way you need to calculate in the calculator consider the tabulated value which we have just calculated that tabulated value is this one which is present in our table. Now by Simpson's one third rule we know that integral x naught to x naught plus n h that is lower limit to upper limit f of x dx that is a function equal to and the formula is h by 3 into first term plus last term that is y naught plus y n plus 4 into 
sum of odd terms that is y1 plus y3 plus y5 etc up to yn minus 1 plus 2 into sum of even terms that is y2 plus y4 plus y6 etc up to yn minus 2. It is the formula of Simpson's one third rule. It is also known as a Simpson's rule. Now, what are the values of y0, y1, y2, y3, etc., yn minus 1, yn minus 2, and yn? So, those we get from the table which we have stored the values by calculating x and f of x, which is present in the above table. So, y0 is 0 y1 is 0.1621, y2 is 0.3, y3 is 0.4, y4 is 0.4615 and y5 is 0.4918 and y6 is 0.5. That means y6 is the last term that is it is yn and y5 is yn minus 1 and y4 is yn minus 2. So, using that one, whatever the integral has been given, so that integral you need to consider and these values you need to substitute in the formula, we get the integral evaluation value by using Simpson's one-third rule. So, we can write integral 0 to 1 and the given function is x divided by 1 plus x square into dx is equal to h value is 1 so 1 divided by 6 into 3 because the h value is 1 by 6 and y naught plus y n 0 plus 0 0.5 plus 4 into 0 0.1621 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4918 that is y1 y3 and y5 plus 2 into 0 0.3 that is y2 plus 0 0.4615 that is y4. y6 you should not write because it is a last term which you have already written 0 0.5 that is the last term that is yn. So y0 plus yn first term plus last term that is 0 plus 0 0.5 plus 4 into sum of all terms that is y1, y3, y5. That is 0 0.1621 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4918 plus 2 into sum of even terms. That is y2, y4, y6. y6 you should not write because it is the last term. So, you need to write yn minus 2 that is y4. Therefore, we have done 2 into 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4615. So, in the calculator you can write in this way. Open the bracket. 1 divided by 6 into 3 is 18. So, write 18, close the bracket into open double bracket 0 plus 0 0.5, close the bracket plus 4, open the bracket 0 0.1621 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4918, close the bracket plus 2 into 0 0.3, that is open the bracket 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4615 close the bracket again close the bracket so this will give an answer and that answer is integral 0 to 1 x divided by 1 plus x square dx is equal to 0 0.3466 which we have got after rounding off to 4 significant digit of the decimal point that is evaluated integral 0 to 1 x dx divided by 1 plus x square by using Simpson's one third rule and that value is 0 0.3466. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video link with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world.